We're now going to update the object and the material for this um, SAT import, which is very important that you do this before you import any other SAT files into the Revit file that you're in. So <clears throat> I'm going to go to my object styles in order to do this, and to do that I'm going to go to my Manage tab and go to my object styles. In the object styles you have access to all the different categories and some uh, visibility options in terms of line weight, line color, line pattern. You also have materials. It opens to the model objects tab and that is for things that have been created in Revit. We actually want to go to the imported objects tab because we have imported or linked something in here. And you can see that it, when it brings it in as an SAT file it comes in as category 0 under imports and families and we want to rename that because if we were to import any other SAT file it would also come in on 0 and it would glom it all together. So I'm going to name this base. Click OK and then I want to update this render material so in order to do that we need to open up our, uh, rent our material browser and to do that I'm going to left click on the right side of this box and it's going to open up my material browser. These are the materials that are in the current project and it's highlighting the one that we were just using for the base and so I'm going to immediately right click on that and rename it. And I'm going to rename it Mass Base. Um, <clears throat> at this point we can take a look over here in the graphics tab for this particular material and it's going to give us a cut pattern which is what happens when it's sectioned a surface pattern which is an elevational pattern and a shaded pattern so when we do shading in the viewport it will give us that color. The first thing I'm going to do is update the cut pattern to a solid fill. So I'm just going to click on that box, pick solid fill, click OK and I'm going to change that color to a dark red right there. So it'll do a solid fill dark red. I'm going to leave the surface pattern unchanged. And I'm going to go to the Appearance tab, which is what it looks like when it renders, which right now is just gray. <clears throat> and I'm going to change the color of, the, of this material. So I'm going to left click on it, and I'm going to come in, and I'm going to change it to a blue. So I'm going to click OK. And then I'm going to go back to the Graphics tab, and I'm going to say use render appearance for shading and it's going to take that color and apply it here. So I'm going to do that and I'm going to click OK and then I'm pretty much done with that. The next thing I want to do is import the next SAT file and run through the same thing. So I'll click OK here and if I go to my 3D view you can see that it has updated that material. I'm going to go back to my site and I'm going to go and <clears throat> I'm going to import and link that additional piece. So same process we did before, call this one center and go to my insert, link CAD, get my partial, click open finish and then I'm going to go to my manage tab. I'm going to go to my object styles, imported objects. You'll see there's zero again. I'm going to rename that to center. Click OK and then I'm going to do the same thing for the material. I'm going to come in and rename that to center. I'm going to update the cut pattern to a solid fill and I'll make this one gray so we can differentiate between those two and then I'm going to go to the appearance and I'm going to give it a different color so we made that one blue I'll make this know, maybe a light gray click OK and then in graphics I'm going to select use render appearance and I'm going to click OK and I'm going to click OK and if I go to my 3D view, you'll see that those two things are updated. And if I come over here and turn on my section box and pick my section box, which allows me to cut through things, you will see that it is now sectioning with that material option. All right.